Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have the privilege to taste the Macallan 18 year old double cask. Fresh on the market uh, in the core range of Macallan and 43% ABV uncolored and a well a valuable piece. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and I have a, a little story. Maybe you watched the news on Monday that was about a few few weeks ago, and there was a guy in in the UK who got an Macallan eighteen year old for every birthday he had since I think his eighteenth birthday oh, or something like that. Millionaire, and <laughs> he uh, has now twenty eight Macallan eighteen year olds, and yeah, his father worked for a supplier for McAllen and mm. he knew that they were rising in prices and so he he spent about 4000 euros calculated euros on that he spent it in great british pounds and now his son uh, is selling that collection or that series of whiskies for pretty much a good price of 44000 euros <laughs> And he is using that as a down payment for his house. Wow. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a good idea. The, these whiskies are really, really expensive, but they're also really good in keeping their value and even increasing in value. Yeah. And mm -hmm. to show the customer that the 18 year old is a particular bottle, they now have a thicker glass bottom than the normal 15 year old has. And if you place them on each side, then you see that the shoulder is a little bit higher. It's five, five mil uh, taller than the regular bottle, but the shoulder is higher. And there they bring the volume which is missing at the thick bottom. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's therefore uh, heavier and shows more value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more value and higher <laughs> price. <laughs> and uh, typically, Everybody knows the 12 year old of Macallan, and that was matured in European oak cask some decades ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they changed uh, the recipe for uh, the 18 year old, and then a uh, fine oak cask series came out, and that was uh, with three different casks uh, ex bourbon casks, uh, ex European oak cask, and sherry casks and uh, ex-sherry casks uh, made from American white oak. So there is this triple wood uh, recipe for the fine oak series, uh, which is now I think called triple cask something, not quite sure. And this Macallan double cask is now completely from Oloroso sherry casks, but American white oak as well as European oak. And that brings more intensity, more tannins, more spiciness, more volume in the whiskey. And uh, well, European oak casks for sherry are quite rare today. A maximum of 20% of the sherry is still matured in European oak. Most is matured in cheaper uh, American white oak from the US. Yeah, I think the American white oak is growing much faster mm. and therefore cheaper. And the taste is more compatible with the masses. Yeah. Because it's it's lighter, it's more vanilla, it's not that much tannin, not that bitterness, uh, not so much coffee. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. And also the American oak is pretty much cheaper because uh, all the American bourbons are made with fresh American oak casks. So all the bourbon barrels come over and they're flooding the market. They have to go somewhere. Um, <laughs> but not for the sherry industry. Not the for sherry the sherry industry. industry yeah. Uh, they let them be produced in the U.S. And I think they in the U.S. they are produced automatically. Mm -hmm. And in Europe, they're still made by hand because the volume needed is not that high. And with automatically, you mean there is a big production line yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> compared to a guy who's just doing <laughs> all the steps by himself. Yeah. There's so, a lot of manual labor in making a barrel. Uh -huh, hard labor. Hard labor. And it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a lumber mill, but... Uh, um, you have conveyor belts and um, that makes it a lot faster. Yeah. 
So, Macallan had some problems with the uh, quality, uh, not with quality, with fakes. And so they changed uh, the top of the bottle so that you now have a plastic cap on top of everything on the cork. And if you once open the bottle, there will be a gap still visible. So you can see this bottle had been opened once. Uh, and there's a small hologram here. And if you open the bottle, it will be torn apart. Mm -hmm. So that is no longer possible uh, to fake those bottles. And uh, I think the holograms are now in place for one and a half, two decades, probably. And uh, so the very old ones does not show uh, the holograms. Um, so there you have to be careful to buy them. Yeah. But it makes the, the buying experience a lot more relaxed when you buy a, yeah. a good bottle of uh, McAllen because you just know you don't get anything stupid but you get a really good whiskey McAllen whiskey makes it easier a bit harder to open a bottle huh? no it, no it huh? was uh, my fingers have been wet so oh, okay. on the other hand it was quite easy yeah so now you're getting a little bit more <laughs> A little bit more. <laughs> ah, it's over 300 euros. Probably <laughs> most parts of the world will be 400 euros, dollars, pounds. So th this bottle is expensive. So I'm not getting as much. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> it's for me. We're on the budget. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, which is very, very important. Uh, it shows annual 2020 release on the label. Oh, okay. So they do have a vintage. A, they have a vintage and that's a collector's item as well. Yep, for having a down payment for your house. <laughs> <laughs> 44,000 pounds or euros or whatever. Uh, in some parts of the world, <laughs> that's a house. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Here in our, it's not 10% <laughs> of our house. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a definite, a very typical Macallan. So it's sherry. It's rich oranges, juicy oranges, cloves, nutmeg. But as well, a little toffee and in the back, a very light note of ginger. Yeah, it's only 43% ABV. But the it's strong. The taste or the aroma is strong. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a bit more full-bodied as the fifteen-year-old, yeah. mm -hmm. and it has a a lot of dried fruit, um, a lot of toffee, and all that kind of stuff. But it's a bit more spicy. So there are more cloves, more nutmeg, a little bit of that dry hotness and oh, it's uh, ginger as well as you mentioned and very little of these fresh fruits mm. there's there's almost no uh, citrus note in there yeah i do have some a oranges little, some orange but more of a but i don't i think they're a bit, bit faint mm -hmm. i don't have them as much yeah cheers cheers Mm -hmm. Very impressive on your tongue, very balanced, wonderful. And then the oranges kick in. I do have a very tasteable orange juicy note in it combined uh, with the ginger, not that in intense as the 15 year old probably might be that the two sips i had of the 15 year old before uh, are covering my mouth so that this is not that intense um in the aftertaste very gentle very 
yeah, a little bit of sweetness, of orange sweetness, like tangerine or juice oranges. And the aftertaste is not that long as the 15 year old has, but the complexity of the aftertaste, of the taste and the aftertaste is, is uh, higher. There's more intensity in it as with the 15 year old. Mm -hmm. mm. Did you taste a bit more of the maturity? And I would have expected more intensity, more wood and that kind of stuff, but it's, it's very laid back. It's very round, very mature, very gentle. Not much of that fresh fruitiness. There are some oranges. Now we do have a bit of a citrus note in mm -hmm. there, uh, but they more reflect orange zest and more of a I don't know, blood orange juice or something like that. And a lot of raisins, a lot of um, um, sultanins. What, what was an English name for that? Yeah, um, bit, of, bit of caramel. And yes, there is oak. There is a good, mm -hmm. good amount of oak. But um, I, I was just chilling and you, it's, it's very relaxing, very gentle. So you can even forget that you have it in your mouth and it's just very pleasing within your mouth. Mm. So this is definitely a very mm. mature old whiskey which does not have that complicated taste of some very oaky whiskies that show the spiciness of the oak but not the bitterness of the oak. So mm. these are as well I think seasoned casks with Oroso Sherry. So mm -hmm. the tannins might have been sucked out in former maturations probably mm -hmm. for the 12 year old where uh, it does not have that long contact as 18 years with the uh, with the whiskey so this is very elegant complex mm -hmm. uh, rewarding and mm -hmm. you can have definitely more than a sip of that yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. so it's always complicated uh, how we uh, taste this whiskey if we both mm -hmm. sip together then we have this death of silence mm -hmm. <laughs> or a silence of death <laughs> and uh, so I have to to keep talking mm -hmm. uh, rubbish <laughs> until you finished with that I like it I really like the um, I like the taste it's gentle it's 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 also a little bit creamy and a little bit oily mm -hmm. and that's it just as you said it, it really feels elegant elegant in your mouth a bit dry though <laughs> but it's it's a very very well matured scotch yeah and as with the other McAllen's <laughs> they are a bit too pricey yeah. so if you're looking at a, a value for money um, value for money uh, point of view it's not that good <laughs> but if you're looking at just the quality. If you want to have something important, your your stepdad is coming or your your granddad is coming, and you really want to impress him, that's a bottle for that. You cannot fail with that, <laughs> <laughs> but you still have to pay a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's McAllen. <laughs> a mm. really good stuff for a really good price mm. for them. We should have the hope that it will be available constantly mm -hmm. in the past. There had always been a few months in the year where you could buy that bottle and then prices rise and then it's off. And then you have to and wait it, for the And when it comes year. back on, the prices right. are still high. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this one is in our company uh, 10 euros cheaper than before. So, 10 euros cheaper. Okay. Fall by 10 euros, which is. Point zero <laughs> percent, uh, point three percent, something. Yeah, yeah. But still a very good whiskey. Mm. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> if you like a really good whiskey, then go for the McAllen eighteen year old. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.